welcome to the first episode of meta advanced you know firstly i want to thank you for taking the time and the effort and spending the energy and the money to actually go out and buy a meta pass you know we've spent a lot of time actually putting out all this content and we don't really get rewarded instantly right but when you guys buy a meta pass you support everything that we do so firstly thank you for buying one there's you know i live i live for this right and it's it's awesome that you know i'm getting paid to do what i really love uh, but i spent decades you know learning the things that um, i'm able to teach you guys today so in this episode we're first going to tackle the big question that people have about doing any sort of html or css which is am i coding right and that's the big question that everybody has is this coding am i coding because if you say you are a programmer or a coder after learning html and css a lot of people will make fun of you right they'll say oh but that's not real coding and the truth is that um yes and no you are coding and no you're not fully a programmer and the reason for this is because when we talk about a programming language most programming languages you know you might think they're just simple instructions to a computer but there's a category of programming languages called turing complete languages turing complete essentially means that there are two things that a programming language can do the first thing is that it has if conditions right and it does different things depending on whether those conditions are met or not so you can literally ask a computer well if x is equal to 0 then do this otherwise do something else so that's the first condition which is it has to be able to do if conditions then the second condition and i think the more important condition for a for a language to be considered turing complete is the fact that it should have go to statements go to means if you're on line 15 you should be able to say well if x equal to 0 here go back to line 5 right usually all programming languages are serial which is uh there's a statement and there's another statement and all of them have you know labels 1 2 3 4 5 5 some of these non turing complete languages you can only go one way you can just you can never go from line 5 back to line 2 or back to line 4 you can't do that right but with turing complete languages c++ is an example of a turing complete language you'll be able to go from line 5 back to line 3 just by calling something called a go to statement right which is you know you can use it in the form of loops it really doesn't matter we're not in that we're not here to learn programming in this particular part of the series so is it real programming not really but you're still going to be learning a lot of concepts you are going to be learning how to use um something very similar to a programming language so it's just kind of the basis for you to become a programmer tomorrow but this is not fully code right so in this series you can expect to learn a lot of things that are the basics of html and css what are those two languages um if not for programming what do we do with them and how do we actually create something that looks and feels awesome so some of the use cases of things you can do on on uh, by learning this part of the series you can make any sort of websites you can make any sort of landing pages the only caveat is that you will not be able to create a database or a backend right we won't be able to store data so if the user wants to come in and he wants to enter his username and password we're not going to be able to do that right but apart from that creating static websites right which are just purely visual which somebody can use and go to different menus um as long as they're not inputting any data we can create all sorts of such websites and in the ending we'll teach you how to collect some simple data maybe you know you want a contact form or you want a uh you know a form where people can book something we can do all of that simple stuff but you're not going to be able to create the next facebook with this part of the uh course you will be able to create the next facebook with say the coding part of meta right but before that this is like kind of the step up it's the layup to the actual coding part of the course but to be very honest just you learning these skills are good enough if you want to become a web developer or a web designer these skills are good enough consider as long as you stay only on the front end So the front end is what the user sees and the back end is all the math and the database stuff that happens behind. So if you want to become a front end web developer or a web designer as I like to call it, uh this is the right place for you to be. And you know if you're in the marketing team, we're also going to show you how to create uh websites and landing pages without requiring somebody else from the development team. One thing that I want to add is that in the first few episodes of um of this course, we are going to learn how to create websites using code using a little bit of code right um but then after we've actually created these websites using a little bit of code i'm going to show you an advanced technique 
to prevent you having to write any code at all. We're going to go for the first time ever on any online platform in the world. We're going to learn how to do no code, which is we're going to use online tools like Webflow to generate full websites without us doing the hard work of sitting and manually typing out things, right? In, in fact, Webflow is just a visual representation of what we do if we had to type out code. So that makes my life very easy. I went from, you know, doing websites in, in a period of, you know, two weeks or three weeks per website to now a couple of hours with Webflow, right? It's a very powerful tool. And one of my, you know, my gaming name used to be the Lightning Emperor. And a lot of my friends still call me the Lightning Emperor in, you know, in person because I always switch to the faster tool, right? My job is to always speed up everything that I do on an everyday basis. If I can find a way to speed up, you know, how to eat food, I do it, right? So, so all of those things, you know, when, especially when you learn from this course, you'll understand why I switched to Webflow, why, you know, what used to take me two weeks now takes me a couple of hours. You learn all of it and I'm so excited to have you here, but no, this is not real code, right? And that's okay. It's still a stepping stone for you to become whoever you want to become. So let's get started. Bye-bye.